eBay fees are just way too high. Today, we're going to look at what they cost last year versus what they cost this year under managed payments. Hey, it's Don. Today, we're going to look at the fees we pay for eBay, where they are heading. Right now, most people are moving into managed payments, and we are going to compare what I'm paying right now on the Anchor Store I have versus what I paid last year for the exact same service. And we will see through actual numbers the comparison before and after over the last year. So here we are at the actual fees that eBay charges for the typical stores. Now we have an anchor store. We've had an anchor store for quite some time and we pay yearly on our yearly renewal for basically $300 a month. This is the exact same price right now as it was last year. Now we look at everything on a yearly basis. How much does it cost us a year? So at $299.95 a month, we are spending $3,000 five hundred and ninety nine dollars and forty cents a year just for our anchor store now we pay that fee for a specific amount of listings now they just changed the amount of listings that you get now last year we had to pay for any listing over the initial ten thousand listings as of now though i can list eighty five thousand listings under my anchor store with managed payments again last year i could only list ten so for the last year, we have been paying five cents extra for every listing over and above the 10,000 that we were given with our anchor store. Again, an anchor store last year was a total of 10,000 good till canceled listings. So let's just say I have 25,000 listings on average in my store every month for the past year. 10,000 of those for each month are going to be on the house. Those are given to me with my $299.95 payment to eBay. So let's look at the monthly cost here. As I said, we have to pay for 15,000 extra listings at five cents every month. So every month we are paying $750 extra above and beyond our listing fee for the extra 15,000 listings. So now if we take that $750 and we multiply it times 12, the 12 months in a year, we get 9,000 extra bucks I was paying last year. Now with again, the current setup eBay has now, I am getting 85,000 free listings. So I don't have to pay that extra $9,000. So automatically, I am getting $9,000 off of my bill from what I paid last year. Now let's add up the Anchor Store plus our extra listings from last year. Roughly with our store fees, the $3,599.40 plus the $9,000 extra dollars that I am spending for 15,000 extra listings every month, my rough estimate, I am spending $12,599.40 for listings. So that is my yearly expense as of last year. Again, this year, I am minus the $9,000. So this year, I am only spending $3,599.40 total for listing all of the items in my store. Now, looking at the chart again here, you can see that 75,000 of the listings are in select categories. Now, the select categories are spelled out for you right here. Sports memorabilia, cards and fan shop, under sports trading cards, Toys and hobbies, collectible card games, collectibles in general, if it goes in the collectibles category, it's included, music of any type, books of any type, DVDs and movies, video games and consoles, stamps, crafts, home and garden, greeting cards and party supplies and such forth. All of those are included. That's pretty much everywhere where I list. So for me, it's another 75,000 extra listings that I don't have to pay for. So overall, just looking at the listing fees in general, I am $9,000 to the good from the change as long as they keep it the way it is. Now, it originally wasn't set up this way when eBay started this out. Last year, for those who signed up, they did not get any of these listings. This is something that was just randomly thrown on us out of nowhere from what I can see. 
happy with the change and very happy honestly this makes it well worth the while if it stays like this for managed payments now looking at the store fees as well people ask how do i know what store level i should go into now go back to the math i just did for the extra fees per store and you can do the math figure it all out what you're paying for a year for whatever store level you're in now and then just do the math for the differences between the store you have now and the store you want to go up to look at the math itself if you're going to save yourself money like going from a premium to an anchor store it's well worth the while now with ebay's current change i could actually drop down to the premium store and basically be just fine because it includes 50,000 listings for free in the categories that i sell in anyway which is something that I am considering on doing at this point, but I can't do it immediately. One thing that we do is that we pay on a yearly renewal. And if you look here for the Anchor Store, if I go month by month, it's $349 a month. If I sign up and renew every year, one year at a time, it's only $299. Now there's some stipulations and some fees. If I cancel out on my subscription, I can be levied charges for those cancellations based on how long I have left in my year contract with them. It can go up to $1,200 basically that I would owe eBay if I cancel out depending on the month. As it's set right now, February 1st of 2021, I can do whatever I want. It might be practical to pay a little fee to go down in store costs. Looking at the store costs here, you see I'm spending $299.95. Now, if I drop down to a premium store, I am saving $240 more every single month. The only other option I can do other than waiting and keep continuing to pay the $300 is to go up to an enterprise level, which will lower my cost by a mere $50. And as I've said, you can easily figure out how much it costs you by the year. Just multiply the monthly by 12, and that's your total. Now, I'm going to wait a little while to do it just because this could be a temporary thing that they're just offering right now, and this could change at any time. Until they confirm that this is going to be the standards, I want to be safe with what I do. My opinion, though, on them offering these amounts of listings is that if they go ahead and try and change it back at some future point, that's really going to hurt the morale of sellers. That's going to hit the trustability. It's going to hurt a lot of things for those who sell on the platform. I can't imagine how bad it would be if they took away all of those free listings they're now giving out next year. It would really pretty much turn a sour note towards anybody if they did that so I don't see them rushing up to lower the amount of listings at all I think they've realized at this point that it has been a push factor to have more people selling more items if they didn't have to pay for the extra items so I personally think this will stay around for a little while so We'll play it by ear and see as it goes. Once it's cheaper for us to switch down to a premium store, I probably will do that. So not only will we be saving the $9,000 for 15,000 extra listings that we were paying for last year, but we'll be saving several thousand dollars more by going down a store level that will still allow us to have even more listings than we used to have last year. So this is a major big change for us. A lot of people are talking about the final value fees being horrendously more. Now, in some cases, yes, the final value fee can be a little more depending on the item. There is also a 30 cents charge for each transaction. Now, somebody could buy a whole bunch of items in one transaction, one checkout, and only pay 30 cents. Now, if people, though, check out at different times and buy multiple items, you're paying 30 cents per item, and there's no way to negate that. Now, you can add a handling fee of 30 cents to each one of your listings to offset that new 30 cent charge so it won't really affect you. We actually have way more than 15,000 extra listings we had been paying for. I just wanted to make it an easy number for everybody to look at. So you can extrapolate that out for however many listings you have. If I had 50,000 listings and I was paying for all those extra listings, those numbers would be massively higher and we would be saving even more. Right now, if I drop down, as I said, from one store level to a lower store level and with the discount savings on the free listings, I'm saving over $11,000 over what I was last year year. 
Of course, everyone should know that the listing fees themselves are not the only fees that we pay. We also pay a final value fee. And now under managed payments, it all goes through eBay. So the fee structure is different than how we paid it before. For many people, you will actually be paying less in final value fees than you were before. It just depends on what you are selling. So let's say, for an example, the very worst case scenario, you are going to be paying 1% more in final value fees than you did last year. Now, I can't find one that's technically a whole percentage over like that, but we're just throwing a number out there and just guesstimating at just 1% more than you did last year. Again, this is just a fictitious number. Most people won't pay anything more depending on what you sell. So at 1% more, let's say you sold $100,000 last year in merchandise. An extra 1% out of that's only going to be $1,000. So I'm saving $11,000 in listing fees, and I may be spending an extra $1,000 if I am selling $100,000 a year in final value fees. So even worst case scenario at 1%, which again, it's not that high. It's only $1,000 for selling $100,000 worth of merchandise. But I am saving $11,000 if I go down in a store level from what I did last year. So overall, I would still be saving $10,000 under managed payments. You can do the math. It just depends on what you are listing and how much quantity of items you have up to figure that out. But what I can see with the amount of free listings eBay has increased with each store level, you are coming out ahead no matter what at this point. Had they not done this, it would have been questionable. I am okay if this is the aspect what they continue with going forward. This will be a bonus for almost any seller out there with the free listings when you hit those limits. You won't have to go up a store level to continue to sell more items versus how it was last year. So the big question, is eBay's fees really too much these days? The answer in my book is no. They've actually lowered them a considerable amount with the inclusion of these free listings, at least for me. Now, everybody else's results may be different based on what your store level is, how much listings you have in the whole works. Now, those numbers I've quoted are for 15,000 extra listings. Now, we actually have way more than that every single month for the past year. So the amount we'll be saving with managed payments over how it was before will be over $1,000 a month every single month only because basically the inclusion of the 75,000 extra listings we get for an anchor store. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Beechnut has a new gum. Beechnut fancy fruit. Fancy that. Beechnut has a new gum. Beechnut fancy fruit. Fancy that. Beechnut has a new gum. Beechnut fancy fruit. Fancy that. Fancy fruit hangs on to flavor. What flavor? Fancy flavor. Fancy what? Fancy fruit by Beechnut. What? Not? By Beechnut. Buy gum.